Yeah, if volatility is what you're interested in, look no farther than GameStop. So less than 2% of the non-penny stocks in the Russell 2000 have implied volatilities over 100. The forward 30-day volatility for GameStop is 170%. Right now, the options market is implying that this stock's going to move 11.5% just by Friday. So today we saw about 2.7 times the average daily options volume, which is already high. That puts us at about 350,000 contracts total. The most active options were the weekly 250 strike calls. Those were trading for around 14 bucks, and buyers of those are obviously betting that the stock can finish the week well above that strike. And all of the activity that we were seeing was really short dated. So whether it was calls or puts, and nine out of the 10 most active options were calls, they all expire on Friday. And much of this stuff was actually being intraday trading. So uh, it seems like the Reddit rebellion crowd is back with big force in this name. Yeah, well, GameStop isn't the only meme stock that jumped in today's session. Check out some of the other Reddit favorites, Express, AMC, Bed Bath & Beyond, Skills, also soaring, AMC got an upgrade today to a hold rating from a sell rating, so that juiced that stock. Um, you, Tim, as you take a look at these boards, do any interest you at this point? Because for some, the stories have changed. I mean, for GameStop, it's a deeper involvement by Ryan Cohen. For AMC, for instance, it's a number of capital raises that have strengthened its balance sheet. Come on. I mean, broken company before. Why? You know, look, I... The fact that the short interest dropped and you had people squeeze, you know, look, GameStop's only up 4,910% 4, this year. Um, I mean, why not go a little higher? I, none of it makes sense. Look, no, I'm not buying. And, and uh, um, at me all you want, but, but the, you know, Ryan Cohen's had phenomenal success and maybe there's something to turn around. It's a $17 billion company that doesn't make money. Um, it's in the price, uh, even if you get a turnaround. So, no, I'm not chasing AMC. Uh, good for them. I like going to the movie theater. Um, but that was a dying business before. I bet he likes the popcorn. Uh, Dan, Tim didn't take my bait. Do. Did not take my bait. <laughs> he did not. <laughs> well, you know, I, changing. I, I know the story's not changing. I think it's really important to understand that their sales are expected to be down this year 45% from their peak in 2017, 2018. And to Tim's point, they do, they do not make money. So they have one asset here, and that is that short interest versus right their uh, market cap here. So they should be selling stock to those investors who want to buy their stock every single day and putting cash on their balance sheet. One man is not going to transform that company, but a cash hoard could. Um, but really, you're just going to be staring at a pile of cash in an unprofitable business, and they will need